For everybody out there who's concerned about particular areas of the president's proposed budget, the only thing I can say to you is take a deep breath because they're not, the president's not the one that's going to call the shots on this. We are. And um, I don't see any avenue by which you would eliminate programs such as Meals on Wheels. My mother would kick my butt because she delivered Meals on Wheels for 20 years, and I've, I've been an advocate of Meals on Wheels, and I've delivered meals for people too, and I know how critically important it is. It's perhaps one of the best examples of public-private partnerships that we have. But many of the other programs you mentioned, they're not going to get cut. They're not going to eliminate EPA. You know, will there be some uh, budget trimming? Absolutely. We're going to continue with that since we have since the, the Republicans took over the House in 2011. We've slowly and effectively kept the cost on the, on the, uh, on the non-entitlement side, the discretionary spending side. It's been consistently been going down because of our um, fiscal responsibility. But we haven't taken a hatchet to things, and I don't see that we're going to start taking a hatchet to things now the way this budget is. So I'm the lead person in all of Congress asking for a doubling of the amount of money available for the Clean Water Revolving Fund because that's a block grant program that gets money to the states, and then the states takes that and, and do, you know, addresses water issues within the state. For example, Alaska's lakes, uh, algae bloom problem. Uh, there would be more money available for that. I'm leading a nationwide effort to double up, uh, not cut it, but double it because we, of the need. I spoke to the head of Syracuse State the other day, and I realized how vitally important it is to our, to, to our community. The arts are critically important, and um, I am uh, definitely a strong supporter of them, for sure.